What's going on Neverwinter? This uh, video here is going to be all about what you should be doing during double refining stones. Um, first and foremost, any dungeon that grants you refining stone rank 6s, whether it be T9, Cradle, Ravenloft, this, you should probably, you should probably be taking advantage of it. Um, the most time efficient one is probably Cradle with an adequate team. If you don't have an adequate team, I would probably stick away from doing Cradle and Ravenloft because they're not time efficient. Um, good ones to do is Lom T9. While you're in here, make sure you re-roll them if you have re-roll tokens. Me, myself, I saved all my re-roll tokens for this. And see, here you go. Two rank sixes. The prices will drop during this, but if uh, you save them for a little bit, the prices will start to go back up. And this will be also a great time to buy refining stones if you need more than what you are going to accumulate throughout this weekend. Um, next thing you guys want to partake in is uh, the Dread Ring mini dungeons. Me, myself, I like to do the Fortress. Um, there's a lot of skill nodes in there too if you guys are uh, trying to farm skill nodes. As you see, my man Clouds is probably doing the same thing. So hopefully, you guys have your gauntlet up to max level. If not, you should probably work on that. So what you want to do is you want to claim this. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my refinement spec. Um, for those who are interested in the refining spec, I personally run three quartermasters, one dragon horde, one fey. It basically grants you every type of refinement there is. And I just accumulate it. Um... Also, with the refining spec, this is optional. I have Wonder's Fortune and then the Traveler's Treasure. This here doesn't really grant you a lot. Probably 200k, or I'm sorry, 2k per day. Other than that, it's kind of useless. I wouldn't go out and buy a mount if you don't already have one with that bonus. Alright, so you might as well go ahead and get the gauntlet while you're doing this. Just for extra stuff. And those who don't know about Quartermasters, I made a video about Quartermasters, but I will make an updated one since they changed the way Quartermasters work. Because there for a while, the Quartermasters was bug. It didn't grant you the proper refinement that it was supposed to. And um, those are refinement and those rank fives that you've seen. That is from. The Dragon Horde in the phase and the Quartermasters. You'll see a lot of it pop up on the right side as you kill enemies. When I first started, the uh, the best thing for anyone to get was the uh, Wonders Fortune Mount. But now, like Quartermasters is, it, when you utilize Quartermasters properly, it grants you so much refinement. And, uh, and to be honest with you, I really don't partake in that little uh, bonus refinement nonsense that they do. To me, it's not worth the uh, couple prez words that come along with it. It's not worth the AD that you sink into it or nothing like that. And it's optional to kill these creatures if you want. You really don't need to. You can just gather them all up.
sapphires and this is where the good stuff comes out of you can get rank fives here on this event definitely if you have alts who have this area and it's level 70 i would definitely go through this on all your alts especially if you're trying to not only get refinement but also make some ad because the rank fives sell for a decent amount i have 44 enchanted stone rank fives and they're going for 1.2, one, a little over 1 mil for the stack of 44. So definitely, definitely great investment during this. Not only during this, but in general. Um, and I'll show you guys where to buy those. All right, and if you guys want, this is another thing you can do. This guy here. Del McCourt here. For 10 of the scripts, you can buy a key. These layer keys grant you access to any of the smaller dungeons here or any of the layers or whatever you want to call them in this particular area. So you can farm them. I can farm 26 of them as of right now. I'm not going to farm 26 of them, but if you guys were bored and you wanted something to do, by all means, farm 26 of them. I would not buy the Astral Diamonds because... All it takes is for you to pull a rank 5 from that dungeon and it grants you more than the Astro Diamonds. So do not buy Astro Diamonds with this currency. Please. And the last thing I want to talk about, and I touched a little bit on it when we first started. The Quartermasters. As you see here. Fate Blessings, Quartermasters. Those who don't know what Quartermasters do, when you kill an enemy, you have an X percent of chance of granting a bag of goods. Obviously, the more Quartermasters you have, the more chance that you have of gaining a bag of goods. These can give you enchantments up to rank 7, bound on pickup. So, for those who don't know, what you do is you get these bags here. Now, there's different forms of these. There's different variations of these bags. Especially when you start to kill lower level enemies. So, as you see here, I have 625 spoils of war and 172 abandoned gear. So, I'm going to clear out some of my bag space and I will start opening these and make a video on how much refinement that you get for these bags and I'll release that tomorrow for you guys. So if that's something you wanna see, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you guys don't miss that video because that is a very great way of getting refinement for not only your main but your alts as well. So with that being said, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Peace.